Uh, bacteria protect them, sure. Bacteria can do anything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anything. Birds, birds planning ahead, absolutely. Every, every time they see a monkey, they plan on getting their asses kicked. <laughs> and that's, that's basically accurate. So they, the first one's nonsense. Uh, yeah, monkeys uh, clearly perfume themselves. It's one of their one of their higher order functions that they do. Unlike birds, by the way, who yeah. always smell like bird shit. And remember, chi spelled backwards is crap. I believe that China will control the weather. Doesn't cooperate. <laughs> they'll have it shot. Yeah, I mean, uh, dolphins and monkeys basically could play chess together. Those are, those are brilliant <laughs> animals. If the ether turns out to be true, I'll move to Iran and become a Muslim, and I'll raise birds. <laughs> okay, that's that's my problem. I'm putting it out there right now. But we're going to hold you to it, Perry. Oh you damn my right. God. Damn right. right. And if it's not true, I'm flying over there and telling the doctor he's a living baboon. So either way, we get a good show. That's right. Believe me, it is the extremism that's the problem. I mean, I, I have been nauseated by the things that ext- people of extreme faith uh, say many, many times in my life. Muslims, evangelicals, all of them. And I have been nauseated by rabid atheists who, in, who I have encountered at, say, an atheist society are just as fervent, just as bigoted, and just as loudmouthed about their atheism as a as a fundamental the problem is is extremism i think to be intellectually honest one has to in my opinion has to say they're an agnostic birds perry are actually quite bright uh, some of them are can problem solve oh, they can, will you they stop can, they can already with the birds and they have quite <laughs> they have quite sophisticated Please. language and now um the european starlings were shown to have a recursive grammar okay the only- there's that one chicken in manhattan that can play tic-tac-toe Why? also any monkey could whip any bird's ass that's not true what do you mean that's not true well, you don't think a you think a little spider monkey could kick the an ostrich's ass? Stay could trip him right on his long, stinkly <laughs> neck. Absolutely. Wait, wait, is the monkey allowed to hold a shank of some sort? A shank. <laughs> wait, yeah, okay, I'm sure that the monkey has a shank. <laughs> Jump right up on his neck, give him a nostril flip. <laughs> It would do. Well, Thank I'm just you. saying that's the that's one of the monkey's main strengths is the ability to operate a sharp the object. The whole opposable thumb yeah. situation. You yeah, know. there is something scary about a monkey with a knife. I, I'll give you that. <laughs> there sure is. <laughs> Furious George. <laughs> Furious George. Furious <laughs> George. <laughs> that's a Simpsons joke. I can't take credit for that. Ostriches are such thumbs. <laughs> Perry, you're just an avian bigot. Face it. <laughs> Come on. Ostriches <laughs> are everything avian. You're birdist. Along with you're their birdist. avian cousins. You, you have you to stop Alfred? ostracizing the ostriches. Oh, that They're, was bad. That was bad. Oh, oh my God. Was- <laughs> Perry, did you know an ostrich could kill a man with one kick? Oh, please. Did you ever see Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds? I mean, come on. It's really terrifying. Watch out, we got to tiptoe amongst the seagulls. Get away from me. They Give those birds a me. drop kick. <laughs> Perry, why is that so hard to believe? Have you ever seen an, any, a bird that size at a zoo? I saw the omen. Did you see what those okay. baboons did? <laughs> I'm not kidding, though. Like, <laughs> any monkey worth his salt would give any bird a beak flip. No, t- Perry, I'm telling a you, that, that eagle could come down on that monkey and break his neck before he knew what time it was. Nonsense. Yeah, he'd grab him by the beak and he'd go, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> That's what he would do. He'd give a beak flip. Wow, that was the most intellectual argument I've ever heard. The eagles are <laughs> impressive hunters, and these are very large birds. So, <laughs> Perry, don't worry, because even if you're wrong, I mean, there's only 200 of these eagles left. Pretty soon you'll be right by default anyway, because they'll all be dead. So... Yeah, I mean, we're like monkeys, and we're killing all them. Perry, you, you very much stand corrected right now. Just take your lumps, and, and we'll, let's move I, on. I disagree. Perry's it's never ridiculous. been wrong in his life. Perry, you can't disagree. What's there, what are you disagreeing with? I just did. The article also <laughs> says that the eagle eats deer. Deer? Deer. <laughs> like Bats, snakes, monitor lizards. I would love to see that. I would love to see 
an eagle swoop down and grab a deer. Oh, God. <laughs> and, and they occasionally pick up domestic pigs. All right. All right. We'll see. Hey, eagle. Don't, don't come crying to me when some eagle comes, comes down and sticks his talons in your back. Didn't it just say King Kong? Grab that bird by the beak and tear it open. Yeah! Crack! But... R-